Jervis is a great place. It's a quiet community, safe. Uh, people really enjoy living here. A lot of kids who live in Jervis walk and bike to school. Douglas is a really busy road and when school is in session, those two crosswalks in particular serve a lot of kids going to and from school. We've had some close calls on one of them by the high school, uh, especially on dark and rainy mornings. The crosswalk in front of the elementary school is actually in the middle of the block. And so when you know school is just starting or ending, there's just a lot of congestion and there's parking issues there. This grant opportunity with Safe Routes to School became available, so we decided to go through it. There was a lot of support for it. We're always wanting to improve the sidewalks, the safety for kids walking through town. This project just fit that criteria. Probably two years ago, prior to the pandemic starting, um, the school district and the city were considering, you know, how could we make kids coming to school a more safe and enjoyable experience. Uh, when I first came back into the district, I noticed that the traffic had only increased and in trying to navigate the streets and, and the children coming back and forth between their homes, one side of the street to the next, uh, seemed to be problematic to me. And at the same time, then, you know, we spoke with the city and they clearly were aware that the lack of sidewalks and the lack of safe routes for not only kids coming to school, but just walking around town in general was a problem. So our hope is by the time the projects are all completed that we will have put together pathways, you know, both in terms of biking lanes and sidewalks, crosswalks that are safe, that allows our families, either during school time or just during the evening, if they're coming to community events, to be able to safely navigate the streets and, and get around.